Hi, welcome to Phil's Computer Lab. This is a little guide about Scam VM, especially focusing on the Roland MT32 and general MIDI sound fonts and how you configure all of that, but also how you can get a really nice sharp image that fills the screen but is still aspect ratio corrected. Enjoy this video. Let's download the latest version. You just go to Google and type in Scam VM and it finds the link, it's right here. And towards the right hand side is a download button. The latest version at the moment is 1.80, that's what we're going to download. There are two versions, the main installer version which I'm going to use, but you can also down a zip file and run it off a folder. I'm just going to go with the standard download and I'm going to save that onto my desktop. Now we're going to install ScumVM, we just double click on the installer click on yes and press OK, next, 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 install and off we go. There it is. I do recommend you check out the readme file, it has a lot of information. I'm not going to run it just yet, there are a few other things we have to do. Ok, next up we have to deal with the MT32 ROMs. I'll put a download link in the description. You'll have these two files. MT32 PCM and MT32 Control and you need to copy these two files into the ScumVM directory which should be on your computer on the C drive in Program Files x86 if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows otherwise you'll find it in Program Files so I'm gonna go into this folder and then we're gonna look for ScumVM there it is and we just paste it into that directory and now the built-in MUNT MT32 emulator will work. You'll also need some sound fonts for games that use general MIDI. I'll put some links down in the description where you can download a couple of sound fonts. It's a very uh, subjective thing. I don't really recommend uh, any particular sound font. It does depend a little bit on the game. So feel free to experiment, try a few out and see which ones uh, you like the most. And we need some games and the ScumVM website has a wiki on the right hand side, just click on that link and down below here is a really cool link where to get the games and there's a list of all the games that ScumVM supports including links where you can download them and a couple of them are actually free on the ScumVM website. Um, one of my favorites, the LucasArts games, a lot of them can be purchased from GOG or Steam and uh, lots more. So. I'm going to download uh, and install a few games just to showcase what ScumVM can do and how you can configure the MT32 uh, emulator as well as the sound fonts for general MIDI. Ok, we installed a bunch of games, let's run ScumVM and I'm going to show you how to set everything up. So this is what it looks like. and. I've already got a game added here, so I'm just going to remove that so we can start fresh. Now the thing with ScumVM is there are uh, global options which apply to ScumVM in general and all the games. However, you can also configure each game individually. So we're going to start by configuring the global options. So we go to options and you, I definitely recommend that you change some of these graphics settings. I want to play in full screen mode. I turn on aspect ratio correction so that these older games are correctly displayed in the 4x3 aspect ratio and under graphics mode I highly recommend using either OpenGL or OpenGL no filtering. I really like the razor sharp pixel look so I'm gonna go with OpenGL no filtering. Press OK and it should go full screen. Ok, here we are now in full screen mode. So now we're going to configure the MT32 and the general MIDI sound fonts. So we go back to options and under MT32 we change that from do not use Roland MT32 music to MT32 emulator. And under MIDI here where it says don't use general MIDI music, click on that. We change that to uh, fluid synth and then we hit the sound font button and now you have to navigate to your directory so in my case it's c slash users fill desktop and here I've got all my sound fonts and I'm gonna pick which one should I go for I'm gonna go with this one here fluid 
R3 and I click on choose and OK. And we're now ready to go and to add some games. So the first game I'm gonna add is Space Quest. Now that game doesn't use MIDI. It has the option of either using the one single voice PC speaker or the three voices of the Tandy or PC Junior version. So you go to your folder that has the game. Here it is, Space Quest, and just press choose. And you get two choices. The one you wanna select is the first one, the DOS version, press choose and one more time press on OK and here it shows up and you're ready to run the game just press start So that's all working really well. Let's quit the game. And we have to open ScumVM again. Alrighty, let's add the next game. Let's add a game that uses the M232. So we're gonna click on Add Game. And we go up a folder. And I'm gonna go with Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Such a good game. Um, I highly recommend you grab that from the GUG website. There we go. Now, we don't have to change anything because we changed the MT32 under the global settings. So we just press OK and it's good to go. Press start and we should have beautiful Roland MT32 music. I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. John. Well, here I am in New York, wondering how Sophia Hopgood got mixed up with Nazi spies. There you go, that's all ready to go. Now there's a, a shortcut that you should know about. It's Control F5, or just F5 in some cases, where you can uh, load and save your game. Also, some games support the return to launcher when you click that you go back to the Scambia menu and don't just quit the whole program. Okay, we're gonna add one more game and this one will use a uh, general MIDI sound font. So we're clicking on add game and we go up a folder and Sam and Max hit the road. Press choose. Press OK. And then we just hit the start button. Friends? Friends? And there we go, so we're back in the menu. So I'm just gonna quit. And there's one more thing I wanna show you. And that has to do with a couple of specific games from LucasArts. And it's mostly the two Monkey Island games. If you play those games with Roland MT32, you will notice that a lot of sound effects are actually missing. They simply didn't have the time to put them into the game. And I'm gonna demonstrate that in a scene in Monkey Island 2. Okay, so here we are in Monkey Island, we're just gonna go to the swamp and if you grew up playing the game with a sound blaster, you are used to hearing uh, bat noises. So if we just go in here and paddle over there, we can see the bats uh, fly around but we can't hear any sounds and that is because the MT32 version, they 
didn't put the sounds into the game, which is a bit unfortunate. So if you're used to playing this game on a sound blaster and then you experience it with a Roland M232, the music is fantastic, but there are areas of the game where the game sounds really uh, void and lacking of, uh, of sound effects. So I'm gonna show you how to change that with ScumVM. So what you need to do in Marky Island 2 and Marky Island, click on Edit Game. And then under the MIDI tab, tick the Override Global MIDI settings and tick this box here, Mixed Adlib MIDI Mode. And what that will do, it will play uh, Adlib or even Sound Blaster effects whenever the game does not have a sound effect for Roland M232. So we're going to go back into the game and I'll show you the same scene using the Mixed Adlib MIDI Mode. That's really it. It's really straightforward to configure and as you uh, can see the graphics and the sound is really fantastic and I really like the integration of the MT32 emulator as well as FluidSynth so it, it's really easy for beginners to get into ScumVM and a wide range of games are supported. It's mostly adventure games, the classics from LucasArts and Sierra. What else do you want? So that's it for this video. Um, I do recommend that you check out the ScumVM website. Do check out the readme file, uh, the wiki. There's tons of more information there. But in order to get going, this is really all you need to know. So as always, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon in another video.